So you've got yourself a Garmin Approach R10, the screen, the mat, the iPad, the device, the projector, all as well with the world. You're playing one of the five free courses that are included with the E6 Connect and you suddenly realize that you're getting tired of playing the same old courses over and over and over again and you ask yourself, should I upgrade to the basic or the premium E6 Connect golf package? Well, I can't speak to the premium version, but today we're going to check out the basic upgrade and we're going to see if it's worth the price of admission. Let's go. Hey everybody and welcome back to Golf Test Dummy, the channel where I use my game to help your game today. I hope to help at least your virtual game. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the basic subscription from E6 Connect. Now, before we get too far down this road, I've got a little bit of a confession to make. I was short-sighted and I made some assumptions that I shouldn't have made when I bought my Garmin R10. For some reason, I thought that between Home T Hero, which is included with the Garmin, and the E6 Connect package that was included for free that had five courses and practice areas that you would be able to play peer to peer. In other words, you'd be able to play with friends online, people from around the world that you wouldn't just have to come out here and go solo all the time, but that was a bad assumption. Both of those, the free version of E6 that comes with the Garmin R10 and Home T Hero, which is Garmin's proprietary package, which allows you to play over 42,000 plus courses from around the world. <sighs> neither one of those allow you to play peer to peer online with friends and family. First things first, let's talk about the cost. Now you have to pay a lump sum up front of 199 US dollars in order to go from the free version of E6 with the Garmin R10 approach to get to the basic package. The next level after that, I believe cost you $399 and that's for the premium package. Now I have not downloaded the premium package. At this point, I decided that I just wanted to go with the basic upgrade one notch up and $199 a year basically breaks down to, I think $16.67 US each month. Now, the bad part is, is that you can't make monthly installment payments. You have to pay in one lump sum. But the good news is, is that at this point in 2022, Sally Struthers is probably asking for a little bit more money a month than just $16.5. So to compare that to some other numbers, let's just say that, for instance, the courses that I play in my area, for me to go out and play a real round of golf costs me an average of 40 bucks per round. Well, this is easily less than half the cost of one round for an entire month's worth of golf on my simulator. That being said, $199 is not an unsubstantial amount out of people's pockets. Not a lot of people have 199 bucks of just giveaway money laying around. So we want to make sure that we're getting a substantial amount of value for the dollars that we have to spend. First things first, let's talk about something that doesn't change. The practice area. On this, you still have the driving range and then the chip and putt option. In the driving range, you can choose small targets, you can choose large targets, you can do a flat driving range. I think there's a long drive driving range. And then in the chip and putt area, they have all sorts of different scenarios you can put yourself into where you have to hit underneath a log or you have to hit a 60 yard bunker shot, or you can place a ball anywhere around a large practice area green, almost like a short game area where you can play out of bunkers, you can hit chip shots, you can hit pitch shots, play them to uphill and downhill and side hill lies on the green. It's a really good short game area that is available on the included package as well as the basic package. But now onto something that is not included with the free version and you must pay for an upgrade to get. That is the online multiplayer menu, meaning that anybody else who has their Garmin R10, you can set up rounds and play against those people here. You can create a scenario where you play all kinds of different play formats on different courses, and you can play against people online virtually. So they could be in Bangladesh or they could be in Cut and Shoot, Texas. Either way, you can play against people online with your basic upgrade. The next screen we go to is the VGA, the Virtual Golf Association screen. In this screen, you'll see contests like Closest to the Pin, Stroke Play, there's also Stableford and Modified Stableford. There's Best Ball Tournaments sometimes, but they're at different courses. The only thing here is that with your basic and your premium subscription, with the premium, you're going to get access to all the courses that E6 has, whereas with the basic package, you're gonna get access to over 30 courses. And you may see some tournaments on here where you can play against people online, but you may see some courses on here that you don't have with the basic package. And that means that just because it's on this list, you can't necessarily play in that tournament unless you have access to that course. But 
This gives you access to play in tournaments online. On the next screen, we're gonna get into the games. This is something that, honestly, if you have young people or children, this is gonna be huge for them. If you've ever been to a drive shack or a Top Golf, you go out and you hit the golf ball off of one of the levels that you're on and you can look up on the computer screen and maybe you've blown up some monsters or you've you've hit these these cards that are like you know you're trying to make a blackjack hand the games where you can make practice and hit golf balls fun and it's something completely different than you ever be able to get on a real golf course you can see here it has the demolition driving range thumbnail up on screen so things blow up i mean everybody likes stuff that blows up right you can also get closest to the pin long drive long drive world series high score ice trolls billiards and then there's also a darts game so there's all sorts of different games to make golf fun for people who don't necessarily like golf. Now, if we go into the play golf mode, before you actually get to choose your course, you can see an entire list of different modes of play over here on the right. They've got stroke play, Stableford, modified Stableford, performance team stroke, match play, singles, scramble, all sorts of different formats so that whether you're in the US or you're overseas in the UK, you guys play a lot of stable for it over there. We don't necessarily do that over here. It's more stroke play. You have access to all these different choices of what kind of golf match you want to play. And then of course we come to the final, the final screen, the one that everybody's been waiting for. The, the real reason that you pay the fee to get in the door, access to more than just five courses. There are 30 plus courses that you get access to in the basic upgrade. And I believe four of those are revolving courses, meaning that they'll change them out from time to time to keep it fresh. Now I can speak from personal experience and I can say this with all honesty. The five courses that were included with the free version, I play this frequently enough to where it did not take me a very long time before I was getting kind of tired of playing the same five golf courses. Most of us, where we live, you probably have an average of about five golf courses in a certain driving radius of your home where you live that are within reason to get to that you play. Do you get tired of those five golf courses? Do you ever find yourself wanting to drive a little bit further or maybe taking a vacation to a different spot on the planet so that you can get access to different courses because you're sick of playing the same old courses that are around you? I can honestly say that that's happened to me before. I think it comes down to the frequency at which you play golf. Do you play a whole lot? Do you play four or five times a week? Do you only play once a month? That will determine just how long it takes you to get sick of playing the same old courses, but inevitably it's probably going to happen to most of us. So with this, you get access to all kinds of different terrains and settings and elevations. You're going around the world, Canada, Mexico, the US, the UK, Australia, they're all over the world. You can play anything from a tropical paradise on the beach to a barren desert full of mountains all the way up into the high elevations and way down into the low swamps. You can play just about any type of terrain on all these golf courses and a lot of these courses you've actually heard of. I'm going to take you on here and pick a course in Hawaii and I'm going to play a golf hole off of here, show you how it looks and then we'll wrap this whole thing up. All right, so on screen we are in beautiful Hawaii, white sandy beaches, warm sun, palm trees, lava. But in reality, we're in an ice cold garage in North Carolina, and I haven't warmed up yet. This should be interesting. Well, it's down the fairway at least. Alright, it's not awful. Not ideal, but it's, uh, it's in the fair. This is a par 5. We're not going to get home in 2. Adjust my aim a little bit here. Drop it out there about what my six iron average is. Let's see. A little short from normal, but that's okay. That leaves us 110 coming into this green. And it says it's 12 inches down. Come on, Chad. Get on this group. Well, it's on the green, but it's not anywhere close. I misjudged that one a little bit, but maybe we'll get a two putt for par. Two putt par. 
Just generally speaking, it takes, let's say, between four to five hours to play an entire 18-hole round of golf. Out here, I can play a round of golf in about 25 to 30 minutes. So in the time it takes me to play one normal round of golf in traffic with people around and all of that stuff, I could probably get in about seven or eight rounds of golf on my sim. There's no lines. There's no crowds. I could step right out of my living room anytime I want to into this space and be in Hawaii playing golf. Now in regards to whether or not the E6 basic package upgrade is worth it at $199, I'll say this. If you had a Ferrari, I'm just saying if you had a Ferrari, if you had a Ferrari and the only place you could take it was into town to the grocery store and you never drove it more than just a couple of miles at 25 to 35 miles an hour, What's the point of having a Ferrari? I guess what I'm trying to say is this. You've got the simulator, you've got the screen, you've got the mat, you've got the projector, the iPad, the whole setup. You've already invested a substantial or a decent, at least, amount of money into it. You gotta push it just a little bit further to open this thing up and put the pedal to the floor and get the most out of your simulator experience. If all you're ever gonna do is play five basic courses with your simulator, that's probably not gonna be enough for most people. You need to push this thing out there. You need to invest and fully use it the way it's intended to be used to travel all around the world and have golf experiences of all kinds in all types of formats online with people so that you're not just by yourself all the time and maybe play some fun games where stuff blows up. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up down below. Click the thumbs up to give me a like on it. Leave me some comments. Let me know your thoughts. Have you tried the premium package, which is one step up above this? Leave your comments down below so everybody can see those. Have you tried the basic package? Is this video enough to convince you to upgrade to the basic or the premium package from just the free version? If so, leave me those comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click the bell off to the right and select all so you're notified of all the videos coming up. I've got tons of stuff coming out in 2022. I hope you guys will stick with me. And be sure to check out the description below. Down below, you'll see links to the Indoor Golf Shop, which is the people that provide this particular type of screen here, as well as mats and other stuff that you're going to need for your golf simulator experience. You can click through that link and use my code TESTDUMMY to save yourself 10% as well as helping the channel out by clicking through my Amazon link to go to your Amazon page. It costs you nothing extra, but it helps support the channel. It's a lot like PBS, and I'll see you in the next video.